a good example, talking about demineralising plants and reverse osmosis machines, they both produce pure water, but a demin plant will use chemicals. So if that customer, for example, is a chemical manufacturer, having those chemicals on site is much less of an issue, whereas if they are, say, for example, a food production company, they would maybe go down the RO route. There's lots of different ways to treat that water. These are two small ones that we've built for a local customer. They are both 900 litre an hour units. These are two twin 20 tonne an hour units. The quality of water will be the same, but obviously the quantity will increase massively. The customer for this unit is for a large glass manufacturing. They use the water to clean the glass before they make double glazing, so there's no streaks or smears with inside the glass. These units are going in with a water softener in front of them. That's to take the hardness salts out of the water, prevent the membranes from scaling up. Size is not really a big issue. The site has an existing demineralizing plant that works on reverse flow. They wanted to get a larger flow through it, but the plant wasn't capable of taking any more due to the inlet conductivity. So what we're doing is we're taking a lot of the conductivity out of the water 99% of it, so that the existing demineralization plant will be just acting as a polisher. I think the payback we calculated at approximately nine months.